Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So I thought today I would run this little experiment to decide which of the modern LLMs, the top ones, are best suited for SEO optimization. And we'll deal today with four types of prompts. The first one is just a plain prompt asking the LLM to write an article. The basic SEO prompt has the word SEO optimized in it. Plus role is a more robust prompt that has both the role and the criteria for an SEO optimized articles. And then finally we'll add up LSA keywords from Neuron Writer. And my expectation is that the score is going to grow in a linear fashion. So the lowest score here, the highest here. But we'll see what happens. I have never tested this before. To help me test those LLMs, I will use Open Router. Let's go to Chat, then Flagship Models. And all the LLMs are already here Gemini 2.5 Pro, Cloth Sonnet 4, Grok 4, and GBD 5. So, this is the prompt that we're going to be testing first. Write me a 1000 word article for Candoxid Longan, output in a regular H1, H2, markdown formatting. Okay. And while this is being generated, we're going to hop over to NeuroWriter. This is the blank page. We have the title and the description pre populated for those of you playing at home. And all we have to do is paste the markdown content here and register the SEO score. So, the first one seems to be Gemini. And the score is 75, so this is very high. Haven't been given any instructions apart from writing an article, so this is unusual. Maybe it's a glitch. We'll see what happens. Next up is Cloud Sonnet 4. Same basic logic. We go to Markdown to HTML. So the score to beat is 75. And now it's 63. Okay, interesting. Let's do GPT-5. Okay, mm, 64. Finally, Grok. And Grok is 55. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the open router. Let's start a new chat. This time we'll just amend the prompt slightly. It's basically the same prompt, but we have included the SEO optimized in it. So write me an SEO optimized 1000 word article. Okay, so this is Gemini. 74. This is interesting. So the inclusion of the SEO optimized in the prompt did nothing, surprisingly. By the way, if you want to rank in 24 to 48 hours, even with a fresh domain, go check out my search gap method. It contains some new goodies. Okay, this is Claude. And the score is 80. Okay. Huh. So this is the score to beat so far. Let's do GBD5. 66. Mm. So GBD5 is quite bad at SEO optimizing articles. At least from this little test. And this is not statistically relevant or anything, but surprising to say the least. Next up is Grok, 68. Now in theory, this should become more and more interesting as we go. So let's start a new chat once again. The prompt is going to be your seasoned expert SEO content writer. Write a comprehensive 1000 word SEO optimized article about Candoxit Longan, targeting the primary keyword Candoxit Longan, structure the content with. And these are the requirements, target keywords and title, first paragraph, naturally throughout, include three to five related long tails, and a description and the whole works. So again, in theory, this should give us better results on average than just saying, write me an SEO optimized article. However, modern LMS are smart enough to know what SEO optimized is without you actually spitting it out. So I'm not sure. It might get us better results, it might not. And we can already test Gemini. Let me just remove the meta description. We don't need that. Okay, so the score to beat is 80, if I'm not mistaken. 76. Okay. 76 it is. So at least for Gemini, it's like it's slightly better, but still like a very high average score for Gemini. Maybe it's because it's Google, it didn't know and it knows how to optimize your articles irrespective of the prompt. Okay, this is Claude. Well, it seems like this is 76 as well. So okay, I've done enough scrolling up and down and the score never changed. So this is GPT-5 and the score is surprisingly low, 69. And finally, group 4 with a score of 73. So at least on paper, in three instances, this uh, longer prompt did improve the score. It did so marginally for Gemini. Uh, it didn't do much for Cloud Sonnet. It did improve the SEO score for GPT-5 and it also did so for Grok4. Final test. This is the previous prompt plus the LSI keyword taken from NeuroWriter for those of you playing at home. While we wait, I've launched a seven day keyword mastery course, limited time only, completely free. Each day you get a lesson with a worksheet, which means more traffic, more keyword research tricks up your sleeve. So go check it out. OK, 
Okay, this is Gemini. And in theory, this should give us the highest score. 85. Okay, beautiful. So 85 is highest recorded score for Gemini. Let's see if this is the same for Claude. 87. Okay, this must be a record. 87 it is. So the highest recorded score yet. Which might not be necessarily good, because it leads to keyword stuffing. But we're not going there in this video. And GPT-5 did something weird. We have some cleaning to do. Remove meta description. And this is basically system information about which LSA keywords were used. Okay. The score to beat is 87. And the new score is, well, looks like it's actually 87 once again. So ChatGPT was able to repeat the highest score yet. Finally, it's time to test Grok. Again, let me just clean this up. 88. <laughs> oh my god. So, okay guys, let's sum up. So, uh, the inclusion of LSI keywords on average gave us the best result. All of these LLMs are pretty good. I would even go so far as to say that 85 is probably better than 88. Three times out of four, the inclusion of role plus an example gave us a higher score. And in three cases out of four, saying write us an SEO optimized article is better than a plain prompt. The only exception was Gemini, but again, this is a statistically negligent difference. So there you have it, guys. If you want maximum SEO results, provide LSI keywords and also talk about a role and a specific example of what it means to be SEO optimized. And if you want to know everything about SEO optimization, from how to rank to how to write multimedia articles to how to pick your niche, go check out my school community. Until next time, cheers.